Hello everyone, I'm Ankur Mittal and welcome back to your daily AI business news and tools report for August 21st, 2025. Today's AI updates show strong momentum in enterprise adoption and accessibility. First, Anthropic has rolled out Cloud Code Enterprise Integration, making AI-powered software development, code review and documentation more accessible for businesses. Robotics is seeing a massive boost with Field AI, raising $4 or $5 million dollars to build universal robot brains capable of controlling multiple types of robots. This could transform warehouse and manufacturing automation. In DevOps, SRE AI, a Y Combinator-backed startup, secured $7.2 million to automate complex IT workflows, helping enterprises streamline operations and system maintenance. On the consumer side, Google Pixel 10 is showcasing enhanced AI capabilities reinforcing the trend of deeper AI integration into everyday devices. Meanwhile, Firecrawl raised $14.5 million for its AI-powered web intelligence system, offering advanced tools for data collection, market intelligence, and competitor tracking. In funding news, confidence remains high with Cohere hitting a $6.8 billion valuation, backed by industry giants like AMD, NVIDIA, and Salesforce. The focus is clear. Enterprise automation, workflow optimization, and affordable AI access for smaller businesses. Practical applications. For small businesses, you can now use Grammarly AI for polished communication. Try chat GPT budget plans under $5 for customer support. Explore Cloud Code for technical documentation and leverage AI web crawling tools for market research. For entrepreneurs, look into DevOps AI agents mobile AI integrations, and affordable data collection tools to streamline processes and cut costs. The key takeaway? AI is becoming more practical, affordable, and business-ready than ever before. That's it for today's report. If you want deeper analysis, check the link in the description for the Google Sheets report with detailed ratings and insights. Stay tuned, stay ahead, and I'll see you in the next update.